recreating something. We're gonna recreate uh, player phobia uh, sackbot, my latest level tech uh, tech demo. It's to show you how uh, powerful is sackbot uh, control override. Sackbot control override is uh, about sending uh, the inputs uh, to specific uh, from the specific buttons of your controller to uh, to the sackbot. So, we, it's special function in the con uh, control inatro. Normal control inatro plays on somewhere on, on your level, got only outputs as you can see. But when you place this thing on the sidebar, input has appeared. Now, to activate override, we need to switch this little thing, it's the full turn off, on uh, receive mode. And to to start, and the input's gonna receive the signal and to imp ap apply to the sidebot movement. So let's start with shaking head, right? It's a basis of our psychophobia. Sidebot. Uh, to shake the head, we need to signal, uh, send signal to the motion control. Since we move head by uh, shaking the control, right? So we're gonna control the uh, set timer, we're gonna loop it, right? Now we're gonna reset. As you can see, Sagbot slowly making his head down and up. We can speed up this. Let's say to four. As you can see, shaking heads more frequently. You can set to one, and he com completely shaking his head. So this is the first element. Now let's try our sack sackbot for for play for the fiac sackbot. Shakes his head frequently depending on the player uh, distance. So we need player sensor. Player sensor, if you don't know, uh, sent uh, the distance between uh, player and the sidewalk. So now when I go close, it starts shaking, but it doesn't set the frequency of the shake. So we're gonna sp uh, range up some uh, range. Right. Now, to activate the uh, setting, uh, it's a special function and timer. Allowing to set the speed of the, the timer depending on the speed signal from the uh, player sensor, right? So now our clock will be moved faster depending how far our player is. Okay, let's set some question to it. A new function in the patch allowing to cop copy the costume from the specific player, right? So here we go. Now it's shaking. Now let's add some emotion to it. I'm gonna wrench this up even more. We're gonna copy the emotion chips. We want to change the emotion depending on the distance, so we're gonna make more. Gonna make here, gonna lower the range. You're gonna set a motion to skirt the highest level since it's uh, player is very close in this distance. I don't know. You're gonna make another uh, player sensor gonna range this up even we're gonna set minimum range 
and to interpolate them even more. What you should do, you're gonna add the motion on the low, lower level. Let's say here. And now, as you can see, it's changing phase depending on player distance. Now we want some. Uh, we want to be he to be neutral when the player is far. So we got this distance ranges. We can end gate this. To negative, gonna invert it. Send these two ranges here. I mean, uh, we need our gate, not end gate. Okay, I'm gonna place it here and here. Right, now we're gonna add more, one more chip. I'm gonna set to neutral. Right. And now our sackbot will become neutral, but we don't see that when we are far. See, he, he became neutral. So, next, uh, my original player for back is like what jumps when the player is very close. So we can send jump signal by uh, plugging uh, to the X input. So we're gonna make another player sensor. To very close. Here you go. Gonna add a uh, timer to make uh, him jump uh, the, uh, frequently. Some specific, uh, specific frequency. Gonna set this to uh, normal since not him normal. Gonna lower the speed. Let's say every half second jump. I'm gonna plug it this to the X, so it will jump. See? <laughs> nice. So this is how you build custom AI. You can make far, far more advanced stuff with this, with adding more sensors and other stuff. Gonna add, uh, since we got some time, we can we can we can make some extra stuff like uh, adding sound to him. Player box. Mm, ninja, some crowd, evil love, horror scream. Oh, where is it? Okay, that's it. This. We don't have time for searching for it, so we're gonna apply. No, 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 player. So now our segment will scream when we come close. <laughs> <laughs> Fun stuff, huh? Yeah? So, you got. Video how to make uh, the play, uh, sack, uh, uh, player for back sackbot. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I got you, how oh, evil. Oh. Poor sackbot. Player phobia, player phobia is evil. Okay, so bye-bye. See you to, to the next tutorial.